Hello, my name is Thomas Vulun, and I'm the director for LaboM, and it's my great pleasure to work with uh, Maestro Carlo Montanaro. Hello. We were talking about uh, the personal place of Bohem in our lives. Mm. You know, Carlo grew up in the theater, literally. His mm. father was... Your father my was father, a baritone. My father, my, my, my grandfather, I'm three, two generation musician. My father was a baritone, baritone, yeah. And I used to fall asleep in, in, when I was three, four years old in the theater, like listening to the opera. Well, and for me, it's really, it's really meaningful because uh, that's the opera that I saw uh, and I made the decision not to go to medical school, that I was mm -hmm. already enrolled in medical school and I said, called my mother after Labo and said, Mom, forget about it, I can't be yeah, a doctor, that's yeah. what I want to do. I feel this music and this opera like a big movie, like a singer has to act and sing as they talk. It's so full of colors, of emotion, it's, it's like a big journey, big journey mm -hmm. inside the music. <laughs> The way we approach this production is, uh, is not like a complete tragedy, that we put forward the idea of comedy, mm -hmm. the idea that uh, although there are tragic and sad occurrences in the opera, that's not all. And Verismo is a piece of, a piece of life, a slice of what life. What life is good. And life is not only tears, it's no, also... give you one day is happy, next day give you something you don't expect. We're very excited in this production uh, as we have two uh, very different casts and they're all uh, very uh, vibrant and young singers because uh, Bohème is a real ensemble show. La Bohème is about... Uh, an atmosphere, it's about a certain lifestyle, mm -hmm. and I think that the role of the ensemble is really, really important. Music is international, you express what you want, if when you have in front of you like good musician, they keep and then they give back. It's like with a director, when you have good actors, they just give the idea, they keep and they give back what they you know, reflect. Yeah. We work in reflection, you know. It's interesting because even after doing so many bohems, uh, when I come to your music rehearsal, the, f the score just looks a little different to me. It's like you're shining a different light on different phrases and different words. I thank you, buddy. So. My job now, I'm really trying to, to build a, a big arch from the beginning of the opera till the end question of timing, question of moving. La Bohème is an opera uh, that is very nostalgic. I think that a lot of people connect with it uh, because they recognize themselves when they were young and um, had similar loves and similar uh, hunger for, uh, for success and uh, dreams, pursuing their dreams. Uh, and if I may quote Spade Jenkins, he said once that uh, La Bohème is an opera for people who are in love. or for people uh, who have grown older but still remember what it is to be in love. And in that respect, it talks to everybody. Bohème is something that really can touch your heart. Ti tocca il cuore. Venite a sentire. Meraviglioso.